What's going on guys? Welcome to my Bloodborne level 4 uh, boss fight run. Uh, this is going to be against Amicola. This is going to be uh, items only, no upgrades, no level ups. So I will just be using items. So both Molotovs, throwing knives, and oil urine. So hope you guys enjoy this uh, battle. So when you first start, she's going to jump down, throw oil urine right away. Uh, she's doing this attack where these yellow eyeballs come out. She'll just do a laser attack. And uh, wherever the laser goes on the ground, that means that's where the flames are going to pop up. So easily avoidable just by running. So when she does that attack where she tries to hit you with her left hand and then she'll use her right hands to attack you. Uh, she'll try to hit you and then she'll slam her hands on the ground. Very easily avoidable. And she's uh, most vulnerable. So that pretty much means that you can throw oil urine at her and molotovs. Sometimes molotovs, when you throw them, they can be very tricky. Because sometimes you think she's sitting there and then she moves her head and you miss. So be careful. Make sure you hit the neck or hit the head so you can do the uh, optimized damage. So that attack there, she just sweeps her hands away pretty much saying get away from me. Very easily avoidable just by dodging. So she does it again. I think she attacks with her right hand first and then she uses her left hand. Very easy, avoidable. So after the third Molotov throw, uh, she gets staggered. You're able to grab her head and do a visceral attack and then just hurry up and... Uh, get away from her so she's yelling she's in phase two so now she has a uh, bigger range on her uh, attacks now and um, pretty pretty easy to avoid so we're go I'm going to be using the rope Molotov now because I want to save the Molotovs on the third phase so pretty much when she slams her hands on the ground that pretty much when I'm going to be using the rope Molotovs because rope Molotovs you can't throw and for this fight uh, that's going to be the best thing to do is run at her hands and uh, use the rope molotovs. So there's a laser beam, easily avoidable. Just run, like I said, to the side. So now she's going to do that attack again where she tries to hit me with her hands and slams her hand on the ground. I'm just going to use a rope molotov, throw it to the right side of her, uh, of her, uh, I guess you could say, hand. Uh, she's very 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 angry so there she's doing it again slams her hand to the ground and I'm able to run and throw the uh, Molotov at, uh, at her hand and I weakened her hand so I can I believe you do a little bit more damage once you do that when she, then when she does these series of attacks she pretty much does this when you get close to her she'll start just punching getting you know really really angry this attack here she'll just literally slam all four of her hands to the ground you can hurry up and run up and uh, throw a rope molotov but sometimes she'll do a different attack so sometimes you won't get so lucky so that there I actually turned around so I was able to throw the rope molotov to the left side all I did was just turn my character around just out just as I was running and was uh, able to do that successful successfully as well so since you guys know that you can't throw rope molotovs to the left, you can always turn your character around. So now what I'm doing is I'm throwing throwing knives at her just to save a little bit of, um, you know, save a little bit of my items. So there's that easy attack that you can avoid. And sometimes she'll shoot the little white laser beams too. That just means that that's where the flames are going to come out. So when she does this series of attacks here, you can uh, what you guys been seeing me do earlier is I've been hitting her uh, right hand so I just run up the rope molotov hit her right hand you can do that as well but I decided to use my uh, oil on her and a, a molotov that time and then I'm going back to throwing uh, throwing knives just to you know save on my uh, my molotov so when I get to her third phase I won't run out Just going to keep throwing throwing knives until she rips her arms off. That's how you know you she you're in the third phase. Now she's angry trying to hit me, but she didn't. So pretty soon she's going to be ripping her arms off. There's that attack again where she tries to hit me with her right hand and then her left hands. She just smashes her hands on the ground, easily avoidable. So now she rips her hands off. So now what you're going to do is every time she jumps, you're going to time your rolls so you can get the invincibility. 
So you're going to use your oil urn. You're pretty much going to wait until she stands stationary after her attacks. And you're going to start throwing Molotovs after you throw the oil urn. So right here, what you want to do is when you aim at her head, you don't want to stand below her head. You want to run a little bit over to the right. And you want to uh, kind of get close to the outside of her head uh, while moving up to the right. So when you move to the right while you're moving forward up to her head, what's going to happen is that you'll be able to hit her head a lot, a lot more easier. So as you saw there, well, there I didn't hit her head. I actually hit her neck. That's why when I throw the oil urine, I was doing 280 points of damage. You'll know if you hit her head if you hit like, I think it's like 547 or 5 something usually. So there I still hit, I still got the 280. So like I said, I found my brilliant idea of uh, getting closer to the outside of her neck. I mean to her head and, uh, you know, move, uh, you know, to the upper right. So once you're done attacking, my attack will hit instead of just whiffing. I'm going to wait till she actually attacks me. So there I moved a little bit to the right. And I was able to stagger her. So you're able to uh, do a visceral attack. She's almost dead. So what you're going to do after the visceral attack. Just get right back under her. Throw oil urine when you can. And then when she jumps. You're just going to time your roll. So you don't take any damage. Wait till she's done attacking. And then move a little bit over to the right. So you can hit her in the head. And... Amicola is defeated so if you guys got any more questions on her attacks I will be gladly to help you guys out but that's going to be it see you guys in the next one